and welcome back. Um, I've been asked if the Xiaomi Gen 2 is actually like full Google and everything. And I got to tell you guys, from what I'm seeing, everything is ex everything screams Google. So um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. If you guys are brand if you guys are returning, welcome back. Okay, let's go. Um, if you guys missed my previous video, I did a video on the specs and the full setup. Um, the initial setup when you first get it out of the box. This one's going to be your full Google setup that we're going to be looking at. And stay tuned for the next video because I'm going to show you guys how to do developer options, how to set up with APKs, and how to set it up with Downloader. Um, okay, so here is the device. You have your For You Live Apps Library. So we're going to come here real quick. So on the For You page, um, when you're setting everything up, everything is Google. Um, you have stuff here you save up to 60 bucks on youtube tv redeem now they got some offers percy jackson you got some wheel of fortune with pluto tv um your apps it's got xiaomi tv plus patchwell you guys these like exclusive apps that are in here that you're just like what is this tons of stuff here tons of options when you come here you got some live stuff just based on like again some of these apps pretty good everything feels just like an nvidia shield um but just better look from your subscriptions here's my stuff let's, let's check one of these videos out I'm, I'm running it at 4k quality so let's see what it does okay so here is the video i'm going to hit enter first thing i like to do is i always like to come here and go to settings and see where it's going to pick it up so it's picking it up right off the bat at 1080p um and you can see here's the 4k option so we want to read it in 4k we want to see if it struggles or not um yeah so give it a few seconds and there it goes um let's look at the quality on this thing it looks pretty good actually it looks really really good really really clean so yeah it reads the 4k just fine everything works perfectly and again that's going to be on youtube um so again plenty of apps movies tv shows you got your family recommended videos um you got some calendar stuff like there is so much stuff here that's trending that you can see and you will not get bored if you hit the home button it's going to shoot you straight up to the top we're going to go to live this is going to be all your live tv stuff i'll do a whole separate video on this later um your apps so this is what i mean with when it comes to like if this is fully google google setup and everything so um most of the time when people come here they search for a couple apps they find it great sometimes they don't find it is because it's not official google check this out ida 64 so i'm going to search for ida 64 and there it is i could actually download this directly from the google play store which i already have that's how i was able to do my previous video but from here it's got your featured your recommended everything that the google play store this thing has and this is exactly what you want this is great um Okay, let's come back here to the top. You have your library. Anything that you add, it says my library is empty. So find your purchases, rentals, and watch list across TV, mobile, and web here. So because I don't have anything, I don't have to, I won't, I won't have anything here to show. Um, when it comes here to your settings, um, I say I got developer options as enabled. I already did that. Stay tuned for the next video to see that. You could set up a profile. So these are just your notifications, which I could clear all. Um, this little cog here that's your gear icon this is what you're going to find for whatever it is that you need so if you're in display hdmi c i have this thing turned on to you know turn on the tv and stuff like that you got your picture it says it's it's picking up resolution 4k 60 hertz so allow for the best dynamic range again you could set up all your advanced stuff here there is a lot of things here that you can do including positioning your screens you do have some advanced settings here that you can mess with and you could select your formats um, i'd like to do automatic just for let it let it read its thing which is fine um, so a lot of really good options here as far as your uh, privacy you could you could change your location you could do your diagnostic with ads like it has your google ads some people like to turn this off i like to have it personalized to whatever i'm watching already if not you're just going to get a bunch of random stuff so keep that in mind um as far as all your apps go if you need to delete anything this is where you where you four stop clear cache 
clear data. This is everywhere that you, the, like all the, the, the section where you can do it. If you click see all apps, you'll be able to see everything that's installed here. So I got like Hulu, Max, I got Miracast, Netflix, um, just tons of stuff here. And I want to say some of these apps like Patchwall, I could force stop it, clear cache, clear data, but I cannot uninstall. And that's because it's already built into the device itself. Um, so just keep that in mind. Same thing with Show Me TV Plus, the exact same thing. So yeah, pretty good. System, here's gonna be all your system stuff, your accessibility, about, date and time, language, keyboard, storage, ambient mode, which you could add Google Pictures, anything that you wanna do there. There's, I have developer options already turned on. I, I could turn on casting and I could also restart it from here. Your remotes, you can connect multiple remotes and multiple devices. Um, this is one of the, I don't think this is one of the Google remotes. This is a the Xiaomi remote, but I think it's certified by Google because it does have that assist and, and the voice and everything works perfect on this thing. So yeah, like I don't know how what else to show you guys. Um, if you guys do need to resync the remote, you have to push these two buttons here on the ends. And that will help resync the remote if it's not working. Make sure you check the batteries also if it's not working properly. But other than that, that's pretty much it when it comes to the setup of this Google device. Um, it's got all that, all those hidden stuff and everything. So pretty good, pretty easy, and really, really nice. So stay tuned to the next episode um, because I'm going to show you guys how to do the developer option stuff. And I'm going to do a future video of how to, of what that show me TV thing looks like. So yeah, with all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.